Today I'm going to show you how to make a snowman out of a sweater and I'm going to do some follow-up videos on other crafts that you can do uh, using the same sweater. So today we're going to do the snowman which I think turned out really cute. So to get started you're going to need some polyfill. Um, I usually in my sock snowman I use rice but because um, these are a little bit more porous, I've decided to use beans, which I got at the dollar store. I also found these really nice socks at the dollar store and they're kind of sparkly, which I really like. And I found a scarf at the dollar store that's kind of snowflakey and it's, uh, you know, it's just a thin um, fabric, which is perfect. Uh, some embroidery thread to match whatever uh, fabric you choose. So I'm using the blue on the sock and the cream on the cream sweater. A uh, pair of fabric scissors, a needle, some oven baked clay. Um, I always keep an old cosmetic blush that I use for my crafts. Some beads for the eyes. Um, three buttons for the um, for the buttons that you want to use here, and then I also found these at the craft store. They're uh, little snowflakes came with some sequins as well. So to get started, the last thing you do need to purchase or um, steal out of your closet if you have an old sweater. Or I went to the um, secondhand store and I got this sweater for five dollars. And out of this sweater, I can make um, several different crafts. I'm gonna try to make a really large snowman and I'm making some smaller snowmen. So the snowman of this size, you're gonna use the sleeve. So the first thing you wanna do is cut your sleeve um, off. And with that, I'm going to use some fabric scissors to get all my stuff out of the way. Okay, so I'm just going to cut the sleeve off at the top, um, just going straight across. Now, um, the base of your snowman is the wider part, so the upper part of the sleeve, and the top, the head, will be the bottom. Now, I always like to use every bit of um, fabric that I can. I made this cute little hat that I'm gonna save for a future snowman, possibly made out of a sock or something. That is the end of the sleeve because the rib part makes a really nice hat. So since I'm not gonna use that, I'm gonna just cut this off. And then I'm going to save that for um, a hat. And all I did to make the hat was just bunched up the fabric at the top, wound my thread around, and then it became a hat. So I'm gonna save that for later. But this is the piece that we're gonna use right now for the snowman. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna turn your, um, sleeve inside out because you're going to gather the base and then you're going to flip it right side out. So I used my cream fabric and my needle and we will do a weaving in and out to gather it together. So I just knotted the end of my thread and I, I used all six strands because I like it to be sturdy because I'm going to be tugging on it. And I like to start at the seam just because your knot will stay in the seam as opposed to if you start here, it might pull through. So basically all you want to do is just weave. It doesn't really matter distance or anything, but weave it inside and out about an inch um, from the top and you're just gonna keep weaving around until you get all the way around the circumference of the sleeve and then you're gonna pull it tight and tie it off. 
So you just wanna pull it as tight as you can. And then I like to wrap my thread around once just to make it most secure. And then all you're gonna do is just knot it off, holding it with your fingers so it doesn't come loose. And once you do one knot, I just do another knot. And you wanna try to um, get a knit that's tight, not loose, because that way it won't unravel on you very quickly. And I really liked this material because it had uh, some gold in it, which made it kind of sparkly. So once you do that, you're going to turn it right side out and that's gonna be your base. That's gonna be the bottom of your snowman. Now I'm gonna stop right now and the next thing I do wanna show you is how to make the nose. I um, have made noses out of toothpicks and I've made noses out of clay. I really like the clay. Any of the clays work. Uh, this is Craft Smart, but any of them work. The only recommendation that I have for you is um, when you go to buy it, um, just give it a little push to make sure it's soft. I've bought some clays that were so hard it hurt my hands to soften it up. It will soften, um, but the other thing I try not to do is l store the the clay for a long period of time because the longer you store it, it, it doesn't get hard like solid, but it gets hard where it's not as pliable as this. So when you go to the store, you just I just push my thumb in it and if it if it pushes in then you know it's soft. Um, so this is what I'm doing for my carrots. Now what I typically do is make a bunch at one time because I'm not storing my clay. And so to make the noses it's very easy. You just wanna roll it and then I just flatten the end so that that's what's gonna be glued against your snowman. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it is a carrot, so. Um, and then I stand them upright. I put them on a piece of wax paper on a tray and then the directions are right on the side of it. You bake it at 275 for 15 minutes and, and then it's it's hard as a rock. So I make a bunch of them so that when I am doing crafts, doing snowmen, I just have a bag of carrot noses in different sizes that I can um, get. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in the oven. And then we'll set a timer for 15 minutes. So your next step, you, you don't have to fill it with beans or anything, but um, I like it because it kind of gives it some um, weight to it. So she, she or he stands upright. Um, you can just fill it with polyfill, but I like to put a few beans in the bottom, just enough to give it some weight. And then the rest of it, I will fill with my polyfill. And you just want to um, push it down the side so that it gets all around the um, beans. And you just keep putting it in until you fill it to the top. And I don't worry about shaping the neck um, because I'm just going to tie a scarf real tight and the scarf will make the neck. So I just fill it as full as I can get it. So once you have your polyfill in and you've smoothed it out, you want to make sure there's no like major lumps in it. Um, then what you're going to do is again, start at your seam with your needle inside so that your knot stays inside. Not that it really matters. And again, you're going to weave about an inch down, same as you did at the bottom, all the way around the top now. Now I just push everything inside. You wouldn't have to, but um, I do um, because the, the hat's going to cover this. But you just basically pull it tight and then just knot it off like so. So I went ahead and cut my scarf in half. I basically folded it in half and then cut along the line. And that was still, in my opinion, a little too thick. 
So I went ahead and folded it again in half and cut it again. And that gave me a nice like one and a half, two inch strip um, of fabric to work with. Now this is gonna be for the scarf. So the scarf, you just wanna position it. Um, I make sure your seam, I just make sure my seam is in the back because I don't want that. Um, you're just gonna position it right about where you want your head to be and you're just gonna tie it off like so. So you have the head and the body. And then I just tie that off into a square knot, which basically I put the knot in like that. And then this should be like that. And you're gonna come under and then through. And that gives you a nice square knot. And then we're gonna trim off our edges. So that's his head and his body then. And now for the hat, the sock part, I'm using the top of the sock. So I'm gonna cut right before the heel and cut straight across. So this is the top of the sock and it going downwards. And that will become the snowman's hat. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my blue thread now and I'm gonna gather up the top of the hat. So to do this, all I do is uh, create a knot, put it through, and then I'm just going to gather that and wrap it around like twice, pull it tight, and then just knot it off. You don't have to weave in and out of it. You can just do it that way. So I basically just trim my scarf right at the bottom and then just take your uh, fabric scissors and I just cut little fringe going up across both. Okay, so the next step is hot gluing. Um, so I have uh, three buttons that I wanna glue and I always like to pay attention to how I'm lining up the holes, which way, so I make sure that they're all the same. So we're just gonna put a dab of glue and then place a button and then another dab of glue. I'm pretty much going down with the line of the knit. So to my snowflake, I just wanted to add a little extra sparkle. So I'm just going to add a gem. You could add it in clear or blue, silver. So I'm just putting that on. And then this is a peel and stick backing. but I would add a little extra glue to the center of it just because I know that in the long run, that's probably not gonna stick. Can't even get the paper off. Okay. So I'm gonna stick it right on the side of the hat. So I'm just gonna add a little extra dot of glue. the hat and then the only thing we have left to do are the two eyes and the nose so the first thing I like to put on is the nose and that just requires a little dot of glue on the end stick that right there then for the eyes I'm 
you could put the eye on like this way if you want. Or the other way that I did the other eye was I put it on sideways like this. So if you're going to do it like that, then I would do um, definitely use tweezers. Okay, so it just requires a tiny little dot of glue. And then this one I'm going to place like this so you can see the difference. So that's one eye. And then you're going to place another little tiny dot of glue on the other side. For your other eye. Like so. So then the last thing to do is to give your little snowman some little rosy cheek so I just use a cotton ball and some blush and I just do that on each side so these cute little snowmen would make any spot in your house a little nice winter wonderland so if this is your first time watching, welcome, and please don't forget to subscribe if you want to receive future notification of posts, hit the bell. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.